All right, man. I'm about to show y'all no nonsense. The fastest way to get interstellar. Let's go. It's not a difficult thing to do at all. It may seem like a lot, but it's if you take your time and break it down, it's not that much to do. I got it done in two days, give or take. And if I knew all of this beforehand, I probably would have got it done even faster. If I'm being honest, especially with ooh, with shipping out, you guys got shipment 24 seven. I didn't get that till the end of my grind. If I had shipment, oh no, I get this done so fast. But anyways, I got a lot of other videos, my own camo grind. I have a whole playlist. So if you like this one, go look at those. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I don't have no intro or no sign out, so <laughs> enjoy the video, man. All right, man, so I'm gonna cover some real base, like the basics. The camo is simple. You have four base challenges on every gun that you have to get to a certain level to do. That unlocks the gilded challenge. You do the gilded challenge, you get that camo. For forge, you have to get every gun in that class gilded to be able to do the forge challenge. Every single one with the Modern Warfare 3 logo on it, you have to do that to unlock the forge challenge. For priceless, you have to do forge on 36 weapons. You can skip the launcher and both knives and just do the ram, the tack eradicator, and the stalker, the sniper. And you won't even have to do none of the wild challenges. Like you have all gun challenges, it's so easy. I would say level up every single gun in the game first before you even start thinking about doing the the real camo challenges. Level up, I know that sounds crazy, but it's like, bro, some of these guns have like 30 levels. So it's like trying to do all that and then stopping and going to the next gun with 28 levels and then coming back and that's too much. Just level up every single gun max, then go back and just that way all you have to do at that point is challenges. You don't even gotta do nothing else. Use your double weapon XP, bro. But yeah, literally go through and level up every single gun first before you even start doing guild and forge. Don't take it one gun at a time because it's gonna take forever. Like it feels faster when you just leveling up a gun. You get it to max level next gun, level it up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Then you go back and you don't have to do all you gotta do is do the challenges at that point. It's easy. I'm trying to tell I've done this three times already. Not on this game. I got Interstellar, I got Orion, I got Dark Matter. I've done the same method every time, but I'm pacing myself and I'm still getting it done at a in a fast time. I'm gonna cover a lot of the more difficult side the stuff you guys should already know is headshots long shots, stuff like that is, is self-explanatory i don't i shouldn't have to explain that more difficult things like the kills without dying the affected by tactical the revenge kills the penetrations the rgl 80 <laughs> the equipment kills a lot of the simple things like double kill like come on like let's let's use our cod iq man let's let's, let's use that you, you know what a lot of these things are already for affected by tactical, run the engineer vest, double stuns, don't use flashes because if you blind yourself, you're probably going to die. Uh, munitions box, ordnance gloves, covert sneakers, EOD, ghosts, or tag mask, whichever one you want to use. But yeah, bro, don't don't use flashes or tear gas. I don't know why people use tear gas because the animation they give you when you're in the tear gas, it makes it harder to, to get somebody. Just use stuns, throw them from far away and then try to time the shot. So it's like, as soon as they get stunned, you just shoot. This is the, I'm telling you, when people were talking about this challenge before I got to it, I thought, dang, bro, that would be the hardest challenge, da, da, da. I did it. I'm like, bro, I'm getting these done in a game or two, a game and a half sometimes. I'm like, bro, it's not, like, don't make these challenges harder than they need to be. That's another thing. Just do, Literally what the challenge is telling you at the most efficient way possible. It's, it's that simple. So the so the challenge where you have to get three kills in a magazine. Sometimes like it may seem like you're like it's not counting or something. All you have to do is re every three kills you get, reload the gun. Like you get three kills, reload instantly, no matter what. I don't even care. Bro, it doesn't stack. So you can't get six, nine kills in a mag, which is very possible in hardcore. And it counts as three or two sets of that challenge. You have to get three kills reload no matter what. So you don't have to use a max magazine. Just use enough to get three kills. So strafing is side to side. Moving is front to back. So when you're strafing, you just take the left stick, push it left to right, and shoot whoever you got to get to do that challenge. Left to right is strafing. Can't move forward and think, 
bro, I'm not strafing. You <laughs> you go left to right, and that counts as strafing. Moving is front to back, forward and back. is a moving kill. So if you're walking forward and aiming, and you get somebody while you're walking, that's moving. It says hip fire, just don't aim. Walk forward and just spray. That's going to count as moving. And then for like the penetration, at least on Russ, you shoot through this building right here, but... Oh no, it's low key tough. You gotta get lucky catching somebody through there. So I think shipping is the best map for penetration because they pretty much spawn right behind the walls. You can shoot through this. I actually got a clip of me shooting through this with the sniper. I don't know if you can do it with a regular gun or not, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, so this is a good spot. Russ has a few sneaky. Well, penetration is such a tricky one because there's weird spots you can get it done at. But it's like. Then it's spots you can just farm it on. And that's low-key the best way like this container you can shoot through someone's in there uh, a lot of people low-key stand in there so that's a pretty good spot to catch people at a shipment right here you can literally shoot into the spawn they can spawn right there like that's where i got a majority of mine from and you can shoot through it the other way so it's like both it's a both ways thing you will walk through there or sit in there and they can spawn on the other side so pretty soon and you got this one right here the same thing like you literally they walk look at the top left of the map where you're aiming at like they, they low-key spawn right there there's sometimes a, a a hard point right there so it's like you can do that then they walk through from the other side if they're spawning on that other side you can shoot through there and it shoots straight through that doorway into the spawn so it's like if you get the right spawn you can get the whole team sometimes through there so for the grenade launcher equipment kills 25 equipment claymores what's it called proximity mines the fastest way to do this. Going free for all typing. Yo, I need 25 equipments. They should, if they tough, they're going to put two claymores down for you. That's two at a time each life. You should get that done in no time. So yeah, that's the that's the best way to do that. I didn't do that regularly. That's the exact thing I did. I, I did not try to just face through it in regular lobby, bro. That would have took ages. That would have took forever. And man, so the revenge knife kills. Literally play shipment, bro. You play shipment on core. Whoever kills you, you just run right back. Most people don't move on shipment. You'll like, especially people sitting in cans, they'll lay down, shoot you, you run back. You can stun them, whatever you need to do, run back and just like, it's that, it's that simple, bro. So let's do the kills without dying. So three kills without dying. It's just 30 or however number. So if it's 10, if you have to get three kills without dying 10 times, you just have to get 30 kills. You don't have to go on the street. You can literally play a game and go 30 and 40 and that you'll get the challenge when you get that 30 kill. Same for the five kills without dying. It says get five kills without dying, but literally five times. That's just 25 kills. You can go 25 and 50. And you'll still get the challenge done on the 50, on the 50, that's great. You'll still get the challenge done on that 25th kill. So it's like, it's not, I don't think it's a bug. I think the challenge is just worded bad. So you literally, it's just get 50 kills or get 25 kills. It's five kills without dying five times, get 25 kills. It's three kills without dying 10 times, get 30 kills. It's that simple, bro. You get the kills and keep it moving. All right, best. So here go my stats. Two days, 10 hours, 40 minutes, 490 games played, 28 kills a game, uh, 86 games. Look at our core to core ratio. The amount of games I left is insane. Each gun was taking me like 500 kills to get it done, basically. Far ahead. I played zombies, that's what it was. I did play a little bit of zombies with my friends, but other than that, this is all multiplayer, bro. So it's like, so 490 games. A lot of these was quit, so I don't even know how many of these are fully played through games. Less than a one, which is expected when you're playing for camos. So it's meant to keep you at one spot, but that's another story for another day. It's not a race to get the camo, bro. It's like, I just did it early so that I wouldn't have to worry about leveling up guns. At this point, the meta is going to be changing, right? So all I literally have to do is pick which gun. Like, say they put a patch out, all these guns are trash, and it's a new gun to use. I don't have to go and level it up to get it to be meta. I just put it on and use it. It's that simple. It's like, that's why. That's the only reason why I personally did it so fast and did it early. So now all I have to level up is DLC guns, which is nothing. Like I just dropped the video. I got the Tacky Eradicator maxed out and Interstellar on it in one hour. It's like, bro, it's not. That's the reason why I did it. So, but for you, like, 
if you don't really care, you don't have the you don't have the rush. You don't have to speed through it. I mean, the camo's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like this, the game, the next COD isn't coming out till like what November twenty four. So it's like you have another twelve ten months to get the like. It's not. It's no rush. Like take your time. You know what I'm saying? Get it done when you can get it done. Keep it moving, bro. It's, it's plenty of tough camos that aren't the mastery camo that you can use on the way there that are like that are pretty fine. It's some tough camos. Though. Like, you'll see when you start unlocking them. Like, dang, this camo's tough. So, yeah, if this video helped you in any way or, you know what I'm saying, you learned something you ain't know, or if you just flat out enjoy it. If you're even here at this point, then I appreciate it. Check out the other vids, and you know what I'm saying? That's it, man. <laughs> Tell me the rest of the fee. Soon as I go make the call to the dogs, that mean I'm ready to that eat. Mean I'm ready to How long they really?